Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Welcome to another book review video. Today I'm going to show you this book by Charles Reed. This is called Painting What You Want to See. This book was originally published in 1983 and recently some of Charles Reed's books have been reprinted and this is one of them. This is the 2016 edition. Let's take a look at what's inside. I love Charles Reed's painting because of the looseness. You can see even for this sketch, it's quite loose. There's not a lot of specific details, but yet you can tell exactly what this watercolor sketch is about. I love the play of the watercolor, the wet on wet, and also the vibrant colors. Anyway, this book is going to talk about the subject itself more on the subject than on the painting process even though you get a lot of practical tips as well. Let's take a look at the chapters. So in the first part you get to learn a bit about contour drawing. The second part or the second chapter talks about working with values and then it moves on to color and then to directing the eye with composition and more uh, practical tips at the back of the book. So this chapter starts off with contour drawing. Many of these tips are very practical. You can just read this short paragraph and do the exercise on your own. So there are a lot of practical tips and there are a lot of examples and each example is accompanied by explanation. And after each chapter, there is an assignment for you to do. You can just follow through the assignment very easily. This book talks about watercolor as well as oil painting but I think the concepts you can use them for either medium because well the concepts are pretty universal but many of these examples are actually painted with watercolor so in this chapter he talks about local value light and shade how you can use values to make your drawings uh, stronger and clearer so this is the assignment for the page basically is to get an old photograph to copy from an old photograph the values and then try and enhance uh, with enhance it with watercolor to improve. He also talks about different color schemes like whether you should have a dark color scheme or a lighter color scheme and what. The color scheme means and how you can create those color schemes on your own. So in this particular chapter you can see that he uses a lot of colors. There are also some color swatches right at the back. Let me just flip to it back. So he also teaches you how he mixes all the different colors. This is for a grey tone and this is for greens. These are actually oil paintings. There are a lot of examples on figure drawing and figure painting. So this is on mixing dark tones mixing flesh tones, skin tones. You can see how loose the colors are and some of the watercolors are actually dripping off. I think when he's painting it's, some, it's like this and he uses a lot of water so you can see some watercolor dripping off from the canvas. Using complementary colors, that is the one of the color schemes that he was talking about. This is quite interesting because um, this is the actual um, scene that he's looking at but this is how he interprets the scene. So he uses obviously more vibrant colors compared to the original the actual scene that he's looking at and this is quite um, quite unusual because um, not many artists see like this and this is something that I really want to practice because usually when I look at a scene like this I would paint using the exact colors but in this book he teaches you how you can paint um, 
not using those colors but using some other colors more vibrant colors so a lot of tips with um, tips from for still life for figure drawings for landscapes color mixtures and also mistakes that people commonly make and how to correct them so these are examples from his students so he will give critic and you can learn from uh, the mistakes that are made by his students there are 146 pages in all and I think this is really worth the money this book has a lot of insight I definitely see myself going back to read this again and again to familiarize myself with all the concepts there are lots of practical tips that you can follow lots of tutorials and of course the paintings are very beautiful I really highly recommend this I will be buying his other reprinted books as well I'll be posting a link in the video description just right below so you can check it out to find out where you can buy this book. That's all for my review today. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, remember to do so for more art book reviews, art product reviews, sketching tips and techniques. Bye.